We now have the MIUI 11 for the Redmi Note 8. We're gonna explore what are the updates and which one is missing. And we're gonna find out if really life will get easier. So, let's go! What's up Xiaomi fans, Christian here and welcome back to All About Me where I talk about Xiaomi products. So another video talking about the MIUI 11 and this time it's going to be for the Redmi Note 8. So finally we got the Redmi Note 8 MIUI 11 version. So we're going to see what's in it and what's not. And honestly I feel a little bit disappointed with the update for the MIUI 11. I hope they're going to fix those things. And before we dive into the video, we are going to do some shout out to our Mi fans out there. We have a long list today and it keeps getting longer. So let's get started. Uh, first shout out to Ruben Biscara from the Philippines. We have Levi Palmer from Canada. Panginon X uh, from Paranaque City College from the Philippines. And we have Miss B, shout out from Malaysia. We have Mishra, shout out from Kolkata. And uh, we have a uh, shout out from Kerala Boy Fan. And from Nepal, Kapil Karki. And a shout out to Miz. A shout out to Abdullah Deshmukh. And a shout out from Brunei, we have Limario. And a shout out from the Philippines, we have Andre Leonidas. And of course, one of the loyal Mi fan out there, Utkarsh Raj. A big shout out to you, sir. And we have uh, Radir Damli from Mumbai. And a shout out to Frank Martin from Germany. And a big shout out to Boss Jack Tan. He is uh, from Singapore. And a shout out to Ara Krizilla Lindu. If you do want me to give you a shout on my next video, you can leave your comments below. Our list is getting longer. There's getting more and more me fans out there. And now we're going to proceed with the video and we're gonna see what's in and what's not on the MIUI version for the Redmi Note 8. The MIUI 11 for the Redmi Note 8 comes in two updates. So there was like 11.0.2 and now we have the 11.0.3. They just added, I think it's the game speed booster. Uh, they probably didn't include that in the previous update. All right, we're gonna see what's, what are the updates and let's check it under the system updates, what's new. So let's see what's on the list. All right, it, it does look like it's similar to the Redmi Note 8 Pro, um, like the documents, printing, game speed booster and all that. So let's check this out. Okay, looking at through the icons, especially on the, the settings menu, yeah, as usual, we can see the icons that has been changed. And uh, you'll see some more features over there, uh, like connection sharing, cast and printing. I didn't see the Mi Share, but we're gonna see that later. And also additional uh, special features like the Game Turbo, Quick Replies, and um, th those things that we had there before as well. And just quickly testing how smooth the animation is, it doesn't appear to have some lags, like noticeable lags and all that. So it's pretty smooth so far. So let's get into our first like, new thing about the MIUI 11. And we have the alarm tones. So first is we can, we can actually set it to weather alarm. It depends on the weather, it changes. And also the nature alarm. And initially, it will ask you to download once you first tap on it, and you can choose the sound. It would depend on, on, like it keeps changing, and it keeps you a soothing, soothing alarm so that you won't get a shock when you wake up. And the next Mi 11 feature that we're going to talk about is the Mi Docs Viewer, which is an all-in-one office sweet viewer. This is powered by WPS and it works with any document formatted stored on your phone without any external office suite app. And you can easily access it uh, by going to your file manager. You go to the docs tab and uh, currently supports formats include uh, .doc, .docx, PowerPoint, Excel, uh, spreadsheet, Excel file, PDF, WPX and uh, text files and so far I find it uh, quite easy to use and it's smooth 
you can like do a search you can just like edit if you want to edit a document you have to install the uh, WPS office suite app and the next update is the calculator so this only works with the regular calculator not the scientific one so if you hit on that uh, double headed arrow on the top right sorry top left then it will minimize you'll get a widget size of your calculator which sits on top of any app that you open so you can also switch the opacity so it's easy for you to calculate when you're on top of an app and this also supports the dark mode so once you switch to dark mode this one turns to a darker version right next update we have the task so task sits under the notes so what's new about the task is you have to switch on a setting which allows you uh, to make task in like a shortcut so you will see just swipe from the left side we, you will see the task over there it's easy for it to add take a task complete a task and just a swipe you can easily hide the task and for the next one it's the quick reply so for example you're on YouTube you're just scrolling over it and someone sends you a message okay so this supports multiple apps now uh, some of them are WeChat uh, WhatsApp so we're just gonna wait for that message to come in all right so there you go you tap on the message the small widget of the WhatsApp comes up so you can actually drag over it resize uh, you can also like reply you can hit on the back to see your other chats this is quite convenient uh, you don't have to leave your app while you're while you're replying to a message or something you don't have to leave a video that you're watching also with this MIUI update it comes with a steps tracker so that if, if you're using a global version of the phone the steps tracker is only available for Indonesia Spain and India but if you want to get this um, this steps tracker you just have to switch your region to those three so steps tracker of course is tracks your steps you can set goal and all that you can uh, easily see it from here the MIUI 11 update has a lot more to offer but unfortunately it's not all available with the Redmi Note 8, especially the always on display. This is only available to those phones with the AMOLED screens. So another thing that is not available is the Mi Share. I don't know why they added this on what's new but it's not, you can't find Mi Share anywhere the settings or when you try to share a picture or a file document it's not there so let's see it the settings you go under connection and sharing you don't see the me share over here but if you go to the ups update um, on what's new it, it's actually stated there that this is one of the new things that they updated on this version there so but it's not available unfortunately so which is disappointing and one more thing that is not available in this update is the period tracker. But this period tracker is only available to, uh, to three regions, Spain, Indonesia, and India. So if you want to get this period tracker, you just simply switch your region. And one more thing that I don't like about this update is the wireless printing. So it shows you that there's a wireless printing service there. There's an option, the option is turned on, but when you click on it, yeah, you, you can download an app, but this update doesn't need an app for you to print wirelessly as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi with your wireless printer. And uh, my wireless printer, I've already tested this with me, with my uh, Pocophone F1 and the uh, Redmi Note 8 Pro, and it works. But unfortunately for this, it's not as easy as those other two models that I updated with the MIUI 11. So what, once you want to print, it doesn't give you the option to do it wirelessly so yeah I've tried changing or opening WPS document just to print it uh, the only option that comes up is the me uh, me home like, like me printing but that doesn't load anything you'll just keep on um, like just keep on rotating keep just keep on loading and uh, I tried different documents uh, the me printing doesn't work there's no printing option so the only thing that works when when i tried to print is when i open up the google chrome so google chrome if you go to those options 
and uh, go to share and this is the only place where you can see the print okay so once you print then you can select the printer and it allows you to print unfortunately for this I don't see this as an update because it's very hard to use thank you so much for watching hope you guys love it I hope you guys got something out of it were you a little bit disappointed like me leave your comments below if you do like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys on the next video